Hello and welcome to another episode of Pub Suds and Grubs presents the Speakeasy. The Speakeasy. What's up, Ken? What's up, John? And what's up, Ruben? Do say, it, do it. Like, the introduction. I, I we need I, it. I totally forgot my name. We need it. <laughs> uh, Ruben the Cuban, aka Rubik's Cube. What's up? A- aka uh, Ruben the Cuban, aka yeah. the. Wow, Fleety Flakes, a.k.a. Fleety Flakes, Mac. and to my son, Mr. Ruben. Mr. Ruben. Yeah. <laughs> it was better the first time around. I know. Yeah, What's up, Ruben? I didn't prepare that time. It's good to be back, man. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, it's been a while. John, you look good, bro. You got a What's tan on you. I got a tan. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've been tanned. Yeah, Before it peels, at least, right? Very tropical. Right? <laughs> Face is peeling like a snake. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to talk about that a little bit He's got later. that lotion it's on, It's nice yeah. tan. I do have lotion on. Yes, he puts the lotion on his skin. Uh, what's up? So, uh, Ruben, man, what's going on? We haven't seen you in a while. How's yeah. everything? Yeah, no, we've been super busy. Um, yeah. Got actually, new, I'm working in a new gig, new job, working yeah. in finance again. Cool. I'm still in finance, just a different part of it. Okay. But, uh, you know, keep busy with Freemasonry. And I got involved in uh, in this church. So I've been working with the church, working out like uh, outreach. Latter-day so Saints? Like, no, 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 uh. no, 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 not like that. But, like, they work like uh, to, like with missions and nice. you know, helping people coming out of prison and stuff like that, cool, rehabilitating. Man. So it's it's just you know outreach community Wait, work. You're man. helping people that are coming out of prisons. Yeah, well, I'm about to. I, I just got signed oh. up for it. Yeah, yeah, man. All Listen, right. they they need. I an haven't gotten laid in six years, man. Can you help me out? <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll put the wig on. I you, guess this is. I'm gonna fart later. <laughs> You know, it's just going to be good. It's nice. I like the red lipstick, not the pink, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I got. Just the red. John's just, you know, going back from memories when he was in prison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My so, days. so uh, we're doing something a little bit different today um, because I have a new beer on draft right now. So we have yeah. some Cane Sneak Box coming in at four, 5.4% alcohol. Before it is a pale ale. Yes. Uh. Um, this is one of um, one of my go-tos, I would say. Our buddy Dom, our Dom dealer, this is his, like, he's like, when it comes to cane, Dom's always like sneak box. Sneak yeah. Box. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree, it's I agree. a really good one, and there's a good reason why he likes it that I mean, much. I think head high is their thing, but I'm, I'm more of a, a sneak box guy. Yeah. I'm, I I'm, snuck I'm, a slip of this before, you know? Yeah. I like the overhead um, as well. Um, it's a good choice. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, this one's solid, man. It's, sneak, it's crushable. Box head. What's going on with Kane? Know, is there yeah. a lot of innuendos? Yeah, I sneak a lot, a lot of box in the evenings, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, yeah, sneak in the box. Let's, let's get right. the let's get the tasting because I know guys. John gets nervous. We we may have uh, snuck a couple sips before this, sorry, yeah. but yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Yeah, that's good stuff. This yeah. is what I like about coming here, man, because I am not an IPA guy in any way. Yeah. And then you usually put something out that I'm like, okay. They're growing I, on you, buddy. Yeah. They're yeah. I don't know if it, you would say we're growing on me, but I'm finding it acceptable. I think, I think they're growing on you. Yeah. No, man. Yeah. If you like it, no. you like it. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying it, though. You know, so, yeah. 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 I'm not, not going to say I don't like it, but I probably still wouldn't go out and particularly buy this. Yes. But, you know, it's one of those things like where like it's not too hoppy. Mm-hmm. That's, the thing, that's the thing I don't like about it, IPAs. It's just like the over hop flavor. Yeah. Um, you don't like it too bitter. Um, yeah. It's just like John and I nowadays, we say we don't like them too lactose you know? Yeah. Where they put all that added sugar and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. you know, and just, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of staying away from that lately, yeah. I think. You guys are like little purists over here. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The well, Puritans. The Puritans. <laughs> this is a good beer where, like, on a Monday, you know, during the week and you had a rough day at work, you want to yeah. come home, you want to have a beer. Not on a Tuesday. No, not Tuesday. No, Monday, not Wednesday. Monday or Thursday, What's wrong with Tuesday, Friday. bro? Tuesday's Taco Tuesday. You There's can't taco, mix beers and tacos. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Ruby Tuesday. Turn it all night. Ruby Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> that was the other name you didn't uh, say. Uh, I was Ruby like, Tuesday. Hey, yes, Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday. That's what I was I, you caught me off guard. Uh, uh, thanks, John, for doing that. Yeah. Um, I've been looking forward to it. I mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a good one. Um, we have another one that we're going to be doing in a little bit too, as well. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is a solid one that they're putting out, and um, it's, it's good liquid. Very good liquid. Yeah. And you said you, and you said it's five point four. Yes, five point. Yeah, so it's not too killer. Like you're not no, gonna like. You no, can, you, you can, can have a few of these. Yeah, you're not gonna die. What do you think of the brewery over. itself, though? I I like it, man. I like, it's a cool setup. Really, because you're wearing the freaking shirt, so I would oh, hope so. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, yeah. I thought that was Kane the wrestler. Uh, oh, remember Kane the wrestler? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought that. Dude, shirt the guy was, became like a mayor or something. He's the mayor of Knoxville. Is it? That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah, remember Tano, Kane? Tano got me the book. The Sounds big familiar. red machine. He was always with the Undertaker. From wrestling. Oh, back in the WWE days, uh, WWF. Oh no, I'm a grown man. Yeah, but I knew um, he was gonna say something stupid like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I right. said back in the day. Back, back in the, in the day. day. Uh, yes. Well, you know, when I was all young, that. I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I said, <sighs> wish, wish I, I was, was a kid, kid again. again. Yeah, man, bringing it back. Yes. All right. So in recent news, guys, uh, I've been seeing all this stuff popping up, popping up about this Anne Hesh and everything, huh? And yeah. uh, this accident and uh, 
And uh, I, yeah. I think a, a rec- the most recent thing I've heard was that they uh, they found some uh, cocaine in her system. Or Cocaina. Something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's one so, hell of a drug, according yeah. to uh, Rick, <laughs> Rick James. <laughs> Rick well, James. <laughs> I, I think it was more than cocaine, man. I mean. Well, they said they found the fentanyl, too, right? You know, oh, that right there. You know, they found that. alcohol. Did they, find I thought they didn't find the alcohol. I thought they found a bottle of something sh- in the car. I think they found it in the car, but I don't think they found the alcohol in her system. I think no. it was just. I mean, the, she might have just left it there from the morning breakfast, you know, that she yeah, had, yeah. and then you know, she went out for lunch. But let me well, ask you, let me ask you guys this: um, If it was me that was doing this, and I was all coked up, and and I crashed into some house, and I was driving whatever miles per hour across these neighborly streets, and you know, and there's kids playing and their sidewalks and things like that. And if it was me who did that... Oh, I got this. I'd be in the passenger seat with you. <laughs> yeah, so you'd be in well, the Well, my, my question to you is, is, like, are we talking about Kenny Nauer back when you were doing it when well, you were 21? Tr- crashing it, into houses. Irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> so, uh, but what I'm saying is, if it was one of us, would people be reacting the same way? No. Well, no, it, listen, it'd be on the news... Mm-hmm. But one hundred percent, like the law would come just oh. breaking. We'd us be in vilified, ass. man. Oh yes, yeah. they'd be. Oh, yeah. If I passed away, they'd be like, "Good, that ass." He yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. you know. And, and all of a sudden, you see this like outcry of people, like, "Oh my God, poor her!" And I hope yes. she's okay. Like, no, she just destroyed somebody's home. Yes, she, and she could have destroyed more than and, that. And she could have killed yeah. people. She was, yeah. she was reckless. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, you know, and I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of, I, I feel that just because she has a celebrity status. Um, and you know, and she doesn't even have much of one left anyway. You know, like she she yeah. was somebody. I don't think she's much of anybody now. Yeah, you know, if anyone listen, you're an uh, Anne Hayes fan. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, yeah. What was she in? Uh, seven uh, days, seven nights. Seven with days, Harrison seven nights. Ford, right? I actually did appreciate her in that one. That's a good. And then movie. the other one that I was uh, thinking about now is uh, the movie uh, Spread with her with Ash Kutcher. And she was in Psycho, the remake. She yeah, was the yes. main the main female character. Which she it fit her. She played. She was just playing herself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She wasn't even. I acting. mean, I understand, <laughs> and I I heard she she had a a rough um, past growing up uh, yeah. from when she was a kid. Bro, no, I, don't, I don't care, bro. We don't get I know. We all have rough pasts exactly, in one way or another. Bro. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Um, she dated Ellen for a few years. Yes, she did. She yeah. she she went uh, both ways. I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah, she jumped the fence. She jumped the fence and uh, then came back. And then she had a she had a child again. with a husband and a child with a boyfriend. Yeah. Um, oh, that I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know she was pumping around a couple. Yeah, she had a couple, and um, so you know, I think. What's the final take on it? Is she dead? Is she still in a coma? What's well, the story that's the that? interesting thing. Is she dead. Well, she was so with California. Once you're brain dead, you're dead. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. it doesn't matter if your heart's pumping. You're dead. Okay. That's the That's way they look at status. it. And so her date was that date that they said that, you know. Yeah, because when she came in, like, obviously, you know, she was moving or something, right? Like, she had, like, some little outbreak on it. Yeah. But then, you know, I, the last I read, like, I, like Dude, I'm not that was weird, it, man. But... Did you see that clip? And she's coming out, and they're, they had her in a stretcher, and then she, like, they... She, she was she, wrapped in the sheet. Yeah, and she opened it, and she's yeah. like... Yeah. She, Flailing her she was arms like, and has zombie. Yeah, she was in zombie mode. Kind of freaked me out. <laughs> that or she was looking for another line. She's like, I need a line. Yeah, I Let me get that fresh. Yeah. Oh. God, that's yeah. awful. <laughs> Listen, bro, it's it's just real, bro. But so apparently she was wrapped up like that because she did suffer some quite some burns. No, but you well, can yeah. see the one shot from the top. I think from the helicopter, you can yeah. see her back was just lit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when you get yeah. into a burn, they wrap you up in that yes. so that the sun and nothing else hits. Yes, nothing. Yeah, you don't no get bacteria. Uh, so between know. that and the uh, inhalation of whatever you know, yeah. So but she, bust she was already that inhaling and plenty of other stuff. Bro. Yeah, yeah, sounds I don't like think it. a little bit of smoke sounds, was going to. Yeah, be I mean, I don't want to come across insensitive, but yeah, it, I'm it's, insensitive, bro. Yes. I don't got, I don't have no mercy or you know, for people that are famous that get special treatment. Yeah, you're not special. Well, let me ask you're you not. this: Do you believe in punishment fits the crime? Like, you know, in other countries, you kill somebody, you get killed. You steal, you get yes. your finger or your hand chopped off. Obey the law. You know, you obey the laws of the land. You rape or adultery. You know, they cut yeah. your, your. Yeah, obey the laws of the land. That's it, man. You, you believe that? I do. I do. I, I think that's the law of the land. Know what you're getting yourself into. It's like that uh, basketball player, uh, that chick guy. In Russia? Yeah, with that Russia. And yeah. You know, and, and I everything. Her name. Uh, Brittany Griner. Yeah, Griner. Brittany, yes. Was it, you yeah, know, Griner. come on. Don't be. Don't, what do you expect? You you're going to a hostile country, yeah. and you got you know these these uh, vape cartridges and things you know, the, with the THC in it. You know, it's kind of yeah, like you know yeah. you're don't pushing be, it. Don't That's be, why I'm pro death penalty. I mean, you're gonna somebody's gonna kill somebody. They're gonna be 25 to life sentences. Like, why yeah. are you giving somebody life sentences? I don't, more uh, than one. I, more than I one. I actually life don't sentence? believe in the death penalty. And um, I'm 50 50 with it. I I, I kind of like I. I 
I don't know, there's always a part of me that feels that people have the ability to change. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, you know, yeah, but if you're, I'm saying though, if you're doing a life sentence, what yeah. is the sense of oh. a life sentence? You're not coming out of jail. Well, there's always ever. loopholes, you know, good behavior, appeals, things of that not, sort. Not for a life no, sentence. Especially when you get multiple life sentences. And yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I was like, how, why did they give that? I was like, because they can get out of one and there's still one So more. basically what John's saying is our tax dollars are paying for someone that doesn't need to be taken care of in a way. Yes, well, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. I could, no, I could take it another you, level you're for You're going you. to jail for yeah. the rest of your life and we, we're still got to feed you you know, I remember back when we were in like grammar school, they said it cost like thirty three thousand. That was back in like yeah. grammar school. I can only imagine what they pay per inmate to stay in prison. You know, it's, it's got to be you know over fifty, sixty thousand. It's probably double because we're talking back. That was like nineties. Yeah, when we had the, the, them come by and talk about it. But to add on to what John's talking about, right? I'm kind of fifty fifty, right? Yeah. I, I do believe in it to a certain extent, and there's other times where I don't. But why I don't is probably not the same as you. Okay. And the reason why I don't is, uh, you remember the Count of Monte Cristo, the, the, yes. the DVD that you bought for me? Yes. Ken's like, yeah, because I was a real vengeful son of a bitch. So yes. he's like, this is perfect for you. And in that- Great story. It's, it's an amazing movie. Yeah. You know, Great uh, sandwich. Yeah, it is too. <laughs> you're, not you're not wrong. But when he goes to prison and they send him to the Chateau d'If, he gets one set of clothes, yeah. right? He's in this room with just like cobblestone. It's not even flat comfortable, yeah. right? He's got a bucket to do his business in, yeah. and he gets fed twice a day, whatever slop they give him. And that's it. That's, now, it. that's jail time. And then on the year of his anniversary, they come in and they beat him to remind him that it's been a year. That's prison, bro. That's, you know, I don't prison. think if people were doing time like that, they would want to do it again. Yes. You know? But then at the same time, like, and I think the death penalty might be too easy. Right, where like you know, it's like saying, "Hey, all right, so now you don't gotta live; it's just over for you." Yes. Right, where versus if you're if they were if we had Chateau Deep prisons, right? Yeah, you would see crime change drastically. Yes. Right, but at the same time, there's sometimes that the the crime is so cruel, so like no. You're mingling with other people. You're playing basketball. You're lifting weights. Yeah, you're, you're letting them have a life. And they're having three nah. meals a day. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Anal, yeah. anal sex. Yeah, I mean, a lot of there's, sex. There's so much. It's yeah. ridiculous. You got homeless people committing crimes just to go to prison, this so they have somewhere fact. to sleep, something to eat. A buddy of mine at the CEO told me that. He goes, yeah, he goes, you'll see some guys that repeat or whatever because at some point, and the one guy was like a full-time, like he, he got, it was third time in there like forever kind of thing. Yeah. But he wanted it. Yeah. He, he's like, yo, he's like, I can't make it outside. Wow, you become institutionalized too yeah. as well. Right. You know, it's, he just uh, says like, hey, listen, I got food here. I live for free. I don't got to do anything. Yeah. And he was still getting drugs. Yes. He was still getting his drugs in there. The guy was a heroin what, what other celebrities can you think of off the top of your head that have done stupid shit and have gotten people like, Praising them and, and telling them they got to get off the hook and. Um, well, we mentioned. Uh, you no, know, we've talked about Johnny Depp. Yes, Johnny Depp. The whole thing with that. Right. But in his case, he won. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, what he won was a lawsuit, though. He didn't. You know, it doesn't mean yeah. he didn't do. Yeah. Anything. I don't know. She seemed like kind of a, a whack a, job. A, a, yeah. A, yeah, a whack job. Yeah. A little bit of a uh, yeah. compulsive liar, possibly. I don't know. I don't um, put past him doing stuff like she said. Oh, he that. seems like yeah. a nut. He's, he's a nut. Psychopath. Yeah, yeah. But I, th th just because someone's a nut doesn't mean they commit crimes. Right. Um, Do you think he won more in a popularity contest than than fact? That was what someone was telling me about. They're like, yeah, they're like, you know, obviously you listen to some of the stuff and like no, definitely she I, was I like, think I think I don't think it has anything. This I don't. Maybe it has a little bit to do with him, but I think it has a lot more to do with how she presented herself. Yeah, she failed. I think that it was, was hers a big to issue. lose. Yes, and she lost it. Yes, I think yeah. the way she came across and how she was crying and this and it, it didn't seem genuine. And I think that's a thing. That, so it almost was like <laughs> doesn't matter what he did. Really yeah, bad. <laughs> yes. No wonder she doesn't have a lot of roles. Yeah, 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 yeah. She wasn't that great. No. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. Um, but she, listen, she was a pretty face, you know. She's damn fine in Aquaman, though. No, yeah. no, she, no, that's what I'm saying. But she's a pretty face, you know. She's got a nice figure, yeah. whatever. But yeah, as far as acting goes, I don't, I don't so, think she had it. So back to Anne, you know, in that whole situation with the car and everything. And I say, I, I, I it kind of gets to me when people are like, you know, in a way praising, you know, and saying, yeah. you know, it. it, it she could have done a lot more damage oh, than yeah. just a Thank God nobody died. Yeah. Did you, you see know, that video yeah. from the person's like uh, ring or, or a camera? Or no. Oh, the driving car oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how yeah, fast yeah, she was yeah. driving? Was insane. Yes, yeah, it's insane, not. insane. Um, Ruben, I yeah. noticed something. What, what does it say on your shirt there, man? What do you got going on here? So it's a, it's a picture of Einstein, and it says uh, on his forehead, create your own future. And then on the back, it says, imagination is more important than knowledge. Okay. That's and deep. That's deep. So, I mean, look at it this way, right? So we were talking about creating your own future. You had asked, and it's, uh, we, we really do, right? The, there's certain things that you could say. There's certain aspects. You know, I could have been born here, yeah. and it helps this. I could have been born to a family of wealth and this and that. Listen, all that, it, it don't mean shit. I'm sorry. I'm going to go there. I got to curse. I'm sorry. 
I know we're trying to keep it well, good for we you. We do it all the time. Ken tries to keep it wholesome. No, Ken tries, yeah. he tries to keep it wholesome, right? So I'm trying to, but I'm, I'm usually filthy mouth. Mm. But realistically, the way I look at it is you, you do create your own future. What you think, what you see, what you believe is what you become. Okay. Right? So if you, you know, the perfect example is if you feel you can't do something, you're not going to do it. Yeah. Right? But if you believe you can do something, you can believe you can achieve something, and you, it's really there, you're creating your own future because you're going to do it. You're yes. going to do everything in your power to get there. Yes. Right? No, nothing's going to stop you. If yes. you want it as bad, like uh, E.T., what's his name? Eric Thomas, uh, the hip-hop preacher, says, you know, if you want it as bad as you can breathe, then you'll do it. Well, it's like uh, in The Matrix when Neo uh, basically said, you don't believe in any of that fake crap. You right. Know, this is, you're creating your own future. You're writing your own yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. Um, which, by the way, Keanu Reeves. I mean, it's Keanu. you want to look at an actor, you want to be. That's love, the guy you want to be Keanu's, right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tough life, though, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Tough yeah. life. But yeah. amazing human being. So, I mean, when I look at that shirt, I, I want an equilibrium beer. <laughs> yeah, it does yeah. look like an equilibrium I mean, beer. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to freedom of, of thinking uh, uh, of, uh, and everything like that, and, you know, like your shirt and yeah. just creating your own future... Let me ask you this. How, what's your take on it? I'll start with John, actually. What's your take on celebrities and their putting their political views on people Oof. and, oh. and, and kind of saying, this is the way you should think? And it's this awful. Is, yeah. Awful, awful, awful. And you know who comes to my mind first is somebody who I used to have the biggest crush on, Alyssa Milano. Oh. On Twitter, and she's always pushing her political agenda. Yeah. Do you see those that. photos with her? Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, she's like, "Don't roll for this." Flashes a titty. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah got yeah. you. I'm out here. No, I used to have the biggest crush on her, and I'm just like now I'm like turned off by her because yeah, she pushes nonstop. But you want to know Views because you can because she's yourself. got a form. No, no, because you can think for yourself now. Back then, when you were younger, you were just like thinking with well, the other John brain. Was thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. little it. John, little, little John. John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you think for yourself, and you can make yeah. decisions. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think people should. You want to give your opinion on things, yes, but don't don't push the issue where you want people to follow you and, yes. and, and think the same way as you. And you yes. know where it's dangerous too? Where? You guys got kids. Yes. And mm -hmm. those kids are seeing these people. Yes. And they're just, oh, I love this person. I follow this person. Oh, it's and the same with these kids. And, yeah. and they're so they're gonna think the way they're this person tells them to think. Yeah. Again, they can't think for themselves. And my kids are at that age where they are looking at this stuff and, and they yeah. are following this more stuff. More easily influenced yeah. on no, I mean, yeah, my kids are about to be younger, 12, but so still they have yeah. a lot but of But at questions. some point he'll get there. Yes. You know? Oh yeah. 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 I mean I think it's atrocious that they, they use that as a platform. And listen, I'm not saying that you don't have a right to speak. You don't have a right to, but to sit on yeah. your platform and sway the opinions of others with your biased thoughts is yes. it's not right. I think by them doing it is basically telling all their fans and all these people, you can't think for yourself, think like me. Yeah, no, and, um, unacceptable. Not, yeah, that's not acceptable at all. Um, people can think for themselves. Yeah. Everyone's, you know, we're all grown ass men and, yeah. you know, and whatever. They, that's great that they have opinions. Um, but th I feel like they're using their celebrity status to t almost, in a way, take advantage of Hell yeah. their fans. Yeah. You know? So I'm a little... Mm. No, listen, I'm, I'm about freedom of speech. I'm about it. It's one of the big things. Like, all right, for example, me being a Freemason, free thought was is one of the foundations of Freemasonry, right? Freedom of speech, freedom yeah. of religion, yeah. right? It's Masonic principles that are in our Constitution. Now, moreover, you have to look at, if you go back all these years ago, back you know hundreds of years ago, Right where religion really was the thought. Yeah. Right, if you didn't follow Christian religion, you were pagan, you were heathen, you were you were an enemy of the state. And here was a place that men can go and have open thought. Right, they can they can talk about different things. It wasn't religious; they, they use science and stuff like that. And so I've always appreciated that about Freemasonry, where it, we welcome people. Yes, of all have, thoughts, of all, all thoughts, all religions. religions, all this and that. As long as you believe in something greater than you, you can be a Mason. Yeah, and I've loved that because I think that was a foundation in our in our in our country and our society and our culture and only of late has it started to dwindle away where hey if you're someone who's oh you don't think with the status quo you don't follow the, the what's on tv yes then you're 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 just this enemy and i'm like i'm sorry i, I think for myself and yes. i always will yes you know i'm not gonna let some famous person you know sway my thought perfect example was uh alice cooper put up a thing where he had a quote he's like i th you know he finds it disgusting anyone that uses their fame and to make it a platform for pl politics yes he's like you're not a politician you're just another no. normal person no. No. stay in your lane yes yeah so I and i think gene simmons that was another and guy that i said was the same watching thing. i was watching a celebrity wheel of fortune recently yeah and um these people that the contestants i don't want to mention their names but 
I'm solving these things. I'm like, you guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah. How do you not know like what the yeah. like it's saying it right there. Yeah. <laughs> read the clue. Read yeah. what it's, it's right there. Like they're making it easy for them and they can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, these well, guys listen, really aren't that smart. There's there's a lot of morons running this country, right? We can start with the top yeah. one, but let's I mean, not get political. Like let's like you <laughs> well like <laughs> you said, freedom of speech is number. Without freedom of speech, we wouldn't be here right now. Doing Correct. What we're doing, being able yes. to say this, we don't. I mean, you could probably watching us figure out our political views. But we don't talk politics on that when we're pushing what we believe. No, you know, we're discussing. I respect. I respect everyone's opinion, but yeah, don't. Right but it. don't attack me if you don't like mine. Correct. Right, right. Because I will attack back. No, yes. I, but no, I don't even attack back. I just don't waste my time. But I do love someone who has an uh, opposing political view of me. Yes, right. Well, and they and they can talk. And it'd they be can boring discuss. without yes. without discussion and, yes. and opposition. I, yes, I have um, my old my at my old restaurant. My assistant manager, he was just like that. Total opposite political views. Yeah. I would bust his chops, he would bust mine. But he was sensible. Yes. You can talk. And, but then we would talk. And he'd still be friends at the end of it. And, yes, exactly. It's Just to be able to have that conversation, to be mature about it, not get at uh. each other's throats and or it's attack healthy. someone. You it know. is healthy to yes, have it. Yes, yes. And listen, right. no one tells me, you see, if you're a Democrat or something, no one's saying, uh, Ruben, just follow everything Democrat. You can say I agree with no. this and this and this, and yeah. I don't 100%. agree with you know. 100%. No, but my point of views are my own, and people try to say, "Oh, you're this." I'm like, "No, I'm not anything." No. I go, "Here's my." I'm political best view. man for the job when it comes to politics. No, just listen. This is the, this is how I feel. Do what you want to do in your life. Do yes. what makes you happy, as long as it doesn't affect anyone else in a negative way. Yes, that's it. That's that's I mean, my view. John and I were both say we've both voted left and right before. Yeah, I you have know? in the past. Yeah, I I, I've done both. Yeah. Um, That's why I say I'm best person for the job. I all mean, right, let's, nothing gets done by these politicians. Let's not get too deep on the politics. Let's get deeper in this drink no, here. It's, yes, so right. what do we have here? Johnny, you got something for us. All what right. is it? So this is another cane. This is uh, this is an IPA. Okay. This is uh, a little more in our, uh, a little higher than what we this just is did. This is a newer variation of this particular one that yeah. just came out recently. This is double dry hopped SBX. This is coming in at 8.4. Oh, here we go. So we went this from, is what I like to We play. went from 5 to an 8. Stuff that got you streaking in the streets. Yeah. Now, as you can see by the pour, I kind of uh, went a little heavy on Ken, a little yeah. less heavy on Ruben, and then I got the bottom of the barrel. Okay. But that's okay. Is that how you feel about yourself in life? You get uh, the bottom of the barrel? I'm always the low man on the pole. <laughs> so cheers, uh, uh, guys. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Cheers to our health. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, it's all that's good. That's delectable. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good. You know, you know what it is? It just feels like it feels it. it feels like the other one, just a step higher. Yeah. Like a little bit more flavor into it. Yeah. I guess not as pale. Well, when you get typically <laughs> when you get your lower <laughs> ABV more beers, you're yeah. not gonna get that same kind of flavor that you get from these higher ones. Yeah, no. So I've always liked the higher ABV stuff. Yeah. Because like, that's how I am a bourbon. I like the higher ABV stuff. I feel yeah. like I get more flavor. And it's funny, yeah. It. Like Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I, like my, I like my full proofs, my barrel proofs, and you know, that's kind of what I like going for on this stuff. You, you know, know, talking about bourbons, I got a guy, a friend of mine. You got a guy? I, I got, got a guy. guy. I got a guy. I got a guy. I got a guy. He's a friend of mine. All right. Knows everything about booze. What's his name? His name is uh, the spirit scholar, Mario Delgado. Mario. So I'm going to reach out to him, you know what, because he would be perfect to talk to you. I think we should have him on the next podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it happen. All right. And we'll, we'll get him on here, and he can talk to you about spirits and all stuff like that. But Sweet. like, Ghost? Yeah. But Ghost? when you're talking Paranormal? about flavor spirits. everything. Some people fear it. Some yeah. people. Right. You're going to start rapping? Uh, that's yeah. from. Uh, Do I need to beatbox? Was it yeah. Ghostbusters? Was it? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't remember that, bro. Spirit. Some people, right. feel it. Some, people hear it. <laughs> Some people just won't go near it. <laughs> well, is that uh, Run DMC? Top that. Stop that. I don't give a about trying to top that. <laughs> oh, damn. Would you guys been practicing this one? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been practicing. <laughs> We need more music. It's on Teen Witch. All right, folks. <laughs> you're, you're seeing it now. These guys, this is what they do in their own time. Think 80s movies, man. They rap together. 80s movies. Yeah. Uh, this is what you do. You drink a lot of beer, and then you start like rapping together. Oh, yeah. Happens more often Honestly, I'd be, I'd be about it. I'm here for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not now on camera. We'll do it. What did we sing uh, the last podcast? Uh, it was the uh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> That's yeah. what we're doing. You know what I enjoyed was you guys doing Power Hour? Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, you, the three dads doing Power Hour. Nobody enjoyed us I, doing Power Hour. <laughs> I, I, I did for some reason because it brought back memories of me yeah. of like us trying to do it and like dying. We never finished it. And, and you and died. That, that would have been the only place I would have tried uh, was at Ruben's Garage when we were kids. Uh, um, that was our place to that hang out. That was the spot, and, bro. Uh, a lot of memories fun. there. A lot of memories. But the, the Power Hour, I remember like, oh, years. let's do Power Hour. And you think it's easy. 
No. You're like, oh, it's just a shot a minute, like a beer? Like, yeah. No, that's death. It gets insane. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're trying yeah. to talk and do something oh, like this We're going, we're going yeah. back to it. Let's get it back <laughs> on. I saw the timer sitting there. Yeah. 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 Especially no. when you're doing this and you're trying to talk and have a conversation. Yes. And then, it was difficult yeah. to just that, talk, have a topic and we're That's why I it. liked it. Yeah. Because you guys kept, all right, time to drink. And like, yep. you kept interrupting oh, you. Oh, yeah. And then you could tell you guys were getting stressed, so it was nice. Yeah. Now, I got a question. Sure. Well, for Ruben, being that we were just talking about. Um, like celebrities and and then pushing their agendas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, with Freemasonry, I yeah. find a lot of celebrities keep that to themselves. Yeah. Instead of like like you come on and and you you open up about Freemasons and yeah, blah blah blah. Well, but, I'm a, I'm an ambassador for Freemasonry. So in my district, um, when people are interested in Freemasonry, they assign them to me, and I'm supposed to meet with the person, talk to the person, get some feel about who they are, what they're yeah. about. And then find a home for them, right? Because every lodge has its own culture, right? So, right. for example, like, you know, you guys hang out, and, and this is our crew, and we laugh about this, and we talk about this. But then at the same time, maybe I'll go hang out with another group of people, and they're all into, like, dance, and they're all yeah. into raves and, and drugs and this and that. It's a different culture. I'm not saying that that's what we are, but, you know, yeah. maybe culture. Like, the, what kind of drugs do you guys do there? A lot of good stuff. Yeah. So the, the lodges might have, like, an older crew, you know, and those, so you have an older group of gentlemen. Yes. They're going to have different conversations, right? Um, they're, they're about their whiskeys, they're about their bourbons, maybe they're cigar smokers, right? Like, that's what yeah. they love to do. You get to a lodge like ours, I've kind of helped bring in a younger atmosphere. So we have, we have older, we have younger, right? But some of the parties we're going to have, the music's going to be different, yeah. right? So you're going to feel more at home there. So that's my job as an ambassador, is to help find where people belong, right? In Freemasonry, the quote used to be, uh, uh, to be no, uh, ask one to be one. Right, so you, you couldn't proactively talk to people about Freemasonry. That's one another reason why you don't see a lot of people talk about it. It's still like that in a lot of the country. The first okay. rule about Freemasonry: don't yeah. talk about don't Freemasonry. Don't talk yeah. about Freemasonry. Well, Tyler Durden founded Freemasonry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, but I mean, like you got Jay Z, Barack Obama. Like you don't hear these guys openly talk about it. It's no, and and, and it's not something that they should be really talking about. Um, in in that place, like are they, are they Freemasons? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. They're not no. amongst so, others. Yeah, yeah amongst others. Right? Jigga what? So, for example, yeah. like if you look at, we're talking about politics, right, left and right. So, when this country was founded, we did have that left and right, you know, group, right, Democrats yeah. and Republicans. The first tertiary party in the United States was the anti Masonic party, oh. right? Because what happened was Masons were so prevalent, and, and both Washington sides. Washington was a Mason. He was a Mason, right? Both sides of the fence were. So it doesn't matter yeah. whether you got in as a Democrat or Republican. It was all Masons running the yeah. show, and people got sick of that, right? You wanted to get a job. Well, the Freemason guy that was a brother would get the job before yeah. you would, even though you might have been more qualified, right? So, like, so people had this anti-Masonic movement. Yeah. And what did you see? The, I think the last known open president that was a Freemason was Ford. Really? Right? Yeah. But again, like you said, Obama. People, you know, people like, but he might have been like a, he might have been a Prince Hall Mason. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but again, they're not openly doing it anymore. Why? Because there was this whole movement to go against Freemasons. Right? And it's not to say that you're going to join Freemasonry and all of a sudden, like, boom, you could be president or whatever. Like, no. But you're going to have a brotherhood of men that come together, free thinking, open thinking, right? Different religions, different backgrounds, yeah. different things. And you're going to learn from each other. But you're aren't you constantly recruiting? Always. Yeah. Always. So why wouldn't a person with that status want to be open about that and to recruit more? I, I couldn't answer that question. You'd have to speak that individual. Forget it. Shows over. Yeah, yeah, that's you it. It's done. You don't know nothing. No, I don't. <laughs> Let's move so, on. <laughs> yeah. No, realistically, like I openly talk about it, yeah. right? Like for example, I have I have my ring. I'm always wearing a ring, or I'll have a necklace. I'll have a hat on. I have something yeah. that promotes it. So people you know, it's, say, it's, hey. it's interesting that you say that because I had a neighbor who was a Freemason when I lived in Clifton, and he had a. Um, it was something on his car. It was yeah, like a little a, sticker on the yeah, car. Yeah, it was right? like uh, either a sticker. You or can something. get a license plate. That you, has it. It like, might have yeah. been that act. Yeah. It was something of that sort. And I said, well, you know, what do you? I'm like, because I I knew the symbol. I knew what it was. But I you just like, wanted to ask. Yes, I said, you know, it was just a conversation I had had yeah. with him, you know, and uh, you know, so I guess I can see what you're saying as far as wearing the ring. Someone might see what's this. You yeah. have a shirt, like you have that blue moon shirt, whatever. Yeah, the one that said Blue Lodge. Yeah, said, Blue yeah, Lodge yeah, yeah, yeah. and things of that sort. So it kind of gets people wondering because it's something I would say when it comes to Freemasonry, it's something that. I think a lot of people are curious about. Always, yeah. People, you know, they're, they're curious about the unknown, and they are like, wait, what's that? What's going on here? Uh, what do you guys do there? What's, you know... Because right, it's supposed to be this big secret. Nobody knows what's going on. Well, it's but it it's, really, it's... It used to be. So the, the quote goes like this, right? It's not a society with secrets. Uh, you know, no, we're not a secret society. We're a society... Um, 
with just some secret. No, we're not a secret society, just a society with some secrets. And the reality is you can go online and find out most of it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the TV big thing, shows about it. Yeah, the big thing is why would I wear a ring and stuff like that? It's also not just for yeah. other people, yeah. but if another Mason was around, he would see and know me. Right. Yeah, and, right. right. And I've had some of the most amazing conversations with what you would call a random stranger. To me, he's a brother. Yes. The moment I meet him, I know he's a Mason. Do you have a secret handshake? Yeah, yeah, of course. The so the reason, yeah. why, <laughs> the reason why for the handshakes, and I'll give it to you in a short quote, there's an apprentice, fellow craft, and master Mason, right? So yeah, here, I'll give you the, the it's like that. Whoa! Right? So... I thought it was... No, 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 down lower, down lower. All right. <laughs> so the entered apprentice, when you got on the job, that was the first level. You were the burden of uh, the, the bearer of burden. Yeah. And you were the guy who was pulling stones out of the, the quarry, breaking rock. It was hard work, right? And you would be given a handshake. So that what that means is that when if you were to go to another job site, there wasn't LinkedIn. There wasn't Indeed. Yeah. You right, know, there right. was no way to confirm your job. So you had a grip and a word. Yes. And that would say, hey, this is my ranking. This is what I know. Yes. And it would allow you to come in and work and get the knowledge, right? And then the next level was Fellowcraft, and those guys were working the stones. They would get them into the square shape, get them smooth, gotcha. right? And there was a new grip and a word for that. So when you went to the job, you would get paid and taken care of as a Fellowcraft. That was your resume. And then finally, you became a Master Mason. Master Masons no longer worked with tools and stuff like that. All they did is yeah. play stones. Gotcha. That was their job, right? So, and then you would have the grip and word of a Master Mason, mm -hmm. right? So again, that's your resume. So do you have to be handy to be a Mason? Yeah, I need stairs. My stairs done. No, nah, that's an operative. We're speculative. Oh. So, like, operatives are actually guys there, but what we use is we use the operative experience to help explain <laughs> the speculative, right? So, uh, to give you an example of a bearer burden, you come in, you were the guy breaking a stone, right? You didn't know anything, right? So, as a Freemason, when yeah. you come in and you come in as an entered apprentice, you don't know anything about Freemasonry. So, you're going to do more of the hard work. You know, you're going to, yeah. you have to learn everything, start from scratch. It's a much more yeah. difficult time getting into it. But then you learn stuff like the cipher and other things, and then you get to the next level. Cool. And then finally the next level. And then from there, there's other pendant bodies well, I, you can join. all can see and we all know, John and I both know, you're very passionate about oh, it. Oh, yeah, I love this stuff, man. That, you know, that's awesome. I'm in it for it's life. It's good bro. to have something that you can follow and, and have a passion about. And um, People who want to be a Freemason, just remember, you have to approach a Freemason, and they can't ask you to do it. Correct? Or dial 1-800-978-MASON. You can actually go to Freemason.org. Yeah. And, and, or you and can do that, so that too. Way, no, it's the same way. It's a digital way of asking, yes. and then they'll put you in touch yes. with someone in your area like myself. So Where is the cup of Christ buried? That's a, if that's, I learn, if yeah. I join them, would I would I learn? Well, dude, no, no. come on. So uh, no, if you join Indiana Jones, did you watch it? No, I did. Well, it was so the, most likely the people that the people that would, would know that way. are the Knights Templar. So yeah, you would have yeah, to become a master mason, Templar. join yeah. the York right, work your way up, become a Knights Templar, and then maybe just you'll make get that sure secret. you don't drink from that wrong cup. You saw what happened to that one guy, right? Oh, yeah, oh my god, it was just like, bro, yeah, he shriveled up, balls. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah, balls first. Yeah, remember. Christ was a carpenter, bro. So, wooden cup. It's always made cup. out of wood. Always made out of wood. So, Johnny, man, I I uh, wanted to ask you, buddy, how was your vacation, man? You went cruising? We it were talking awesome. about it last episode. Yeah. yeah, he looks nah, tan. Bro, you got, you got some color, bro. He's yeah. got that olive Italian complexion going, man. Really? Do you usually like you're pale like you're withering away and dying? Yeah. Yeah, let me ask <laughs> you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> It was a good time. It you was were, a would great you, time. You said carnival or something, right? I went on the Carnival Sunshine out of Ooh. Charleston, South Carolina. Nice, nice. Charleston's a nice city in itself, man. Yeah, very old city. Yeah. So I went down a couple days before, and we spent a couple days in oh, Charleston. Yeah, but you, was, uh, uh, what you do good. over there, man? Any, yeah. You go to any breweries or what? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I went to Holy City Brewing. Oh, is that the beer that we have right yeah, there? Yeah, it's the beer. The next beer oh, there, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. About yeah, all right, nice. all right. Very cool spot. Huge. Yeah. Huge spot. Uh, huge. Cool. It was huge. It was huge. It was huge. 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 Okay. Um, good food. I, I think uh, we keep say, talking about this. New Jersey is the only stupid state that doesn't serve food in their breweries. Even South Carolina has Why? Like is, is, that barbecue. A, is that like a legal it's reason a, yeah, or something? Law. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. The food was has delicious. It has to do with the restaurant. It's because it, also, it all comes from I, what I think. It all starts with... The restaurant. Liquor licenses. Yeah. yeah. Um, because liquor uh, supply and demand liquor license here, you know how it is. You can buy sure. a liquor license for 50000 You buy a liquor license yeah, for, for 300000 for, for a, a million. million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and how, you know, almost like the, they don't want the breweries to what cheat the What does your license cost to get all this? Uh, well, this is speakeasy, so we uh, we <laughs> He goes, I'm breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> so... So, um, no, but Charleston's <laughs> old, man. It's very old. A lot of cobblestone streets and a lot of you know old buildings. It's old money, bro. Yeah. It's old money over there. If you're a foodie, it's the place to go. A lot yeah. of upscale, a lot of beautiful people. 
It's uh, <laughs> nice. beautiful people. Yeah. Yes. The drive sucked. Yeah. Uh, why, took, why is that? It took me 13 hours to get down. It took me 14 hours. I got back at 11.30 last night. I started driving it, at like, 9.30 a.m. Virginia needs to be blown up. Dude, my buddy just called me. He went down to North Carolina to go pick up stuff that he had in a... Uh, Did he hate Virginia? So he said, going down, Virginia sucked. He yeah. goes, coming back. He called me. And he's like, dude, I'm, uh, he's like, hey, can you meet me at like six to help me out? I'm like, yeah, I got you. He's like, yeah, I was going to leave early and I didn't. And now I'm in Virginia and I got, and he's like, I'm in like rolling traffic, move. rolling traffic. You're in Virginia for like six to eight hours. Dude. Yeah. He it's said he insane. lost. It's better to drive around the state. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, said he better goes, to swim around the he state. He goes, next time I'm going to drive around the state. Yeah. They need to build another highway for people who don't live in Virginia. They don't want to go there. Go in and out. Yeah. Just like an express kind yeah, of Yeah. Like an express, go through the state. So is Virginia there. really for lovers? No, it's for haters because I. Fucking hate Virginia. Oh. Love it. Yeah. Wow, that's See, I love it now thing. that you just said I, that. So I, I guess it is for lovers and haters. I love yeah. the Virginia, but I hate the Virginia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Um, but yeah, the cruise was awesome. We went to the Bahamas. Nice. A few days there. Bermuda, yeah. Uh, Bahamas, Carnival makes their own beer. I remember that. Yeah. Mama, Key Largo, Montego, Should I flip the can? Baby, wanna we go? All right. Carry on. Oh, <laughs> um, Carnival makes their own beer. Did you go to the cruise? Do they club? really? Yeah, so I had a couple of their beers. Uh, they make a golden ale, an amber ale, uh, an IPA. What's the percentage on those? The fuck do you I should know? remember I that. Know. I was on vacation, man. <laughs> Bro, you have a show that talks yeah. about booze and you didn't know what the alcohol percentage Not when I was on vacation. They probably water that shit. Down, okay. Because it's like... <laughs> no, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good? Uh, yeah, the, the best... Who, who makes the, it, though? Who makes it? Did they, did, do you know that, though? Uh, they do. No, uh, a lot of times these places... They outsource they, they it and outsource put their name, name on it. through another brewery and put their name on yeah, it. Yeah, it, it says Carnival... Uh, even when I checked into Untap, it said Carnival, mm. Carnival Beer yeah. Works or something. Mm. You have to really get um, in there and find out. But Bro, uh, I'm gonna the, the best on this holy man. beer they oh, had yeah, on yeah, there yeah, was uh, they had like Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing. They had nice. some Terrapin on there. The Hazy so. Little Thing's not that bad, you know. That, that, that's one of my go tos. I love yeah. that. But I brought this one back from Holy City. Um, this is called Folly Time. It's another uh, pale ale. Five and a half percent, bro. What's up with this twelve, uh, little tiny, twelve fluid ounce little bottle? Little tiny can. They need to yeah, catch up with the game. That, uh, yeah, I mean, their other beers were, were taller, but I got this one. It was okay. All right, I enjoyed it. It was good. He likes the stubby ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a pork belly pastrami. Ooh. Ooh. Friggin' delicious. Yeah, that sounds Swiss amazing. cheese. Yeah. They made their own Russian dressing. Yeah. Rye we bread. Now we're talking. I mean, what's Russian dressing? It's ketchup, mayonnaise, and some relish, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know who's it. I don't care whatever it is, yeah. but... But yes, it's not, it does sound good. Oh, this is a little bit clearer. Um, it's a little bit golden. So yeah, Folly cool. is one of the popular beaches in South Carolina. Folly Beach. Folly Beach. Yeah. Oh, little, mm, and, uh, little, little taps. Oh, no. A little golden. A little golden pony boy. In there. Cheers. Welcome back, John. Hit the, hit the bar, guys. You got to hit the bar before you drink. The reason why that's so, that's honoring all the people that made the alcohol and served it to you. It's not bad. Are they under the bar? No, but you know, that's, oh. that's just. Ooh, that's different. It's not bad. No, I uh, taste like dry wood. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I really, I legit like. I, I taste wet wood. Some kind of wood. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It's <laughs> you know, the oak, oak. No, but that's what I'm feeling. Like I swear to God, like it's you know, like there's some kind of uh, wood wood flavor there. Interesting. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. It, it's it's um, much lighter body than what we've been drinking. It's yeah. a lighter. Yeah, yeah I light. mean, it's not New Jersey beer. It's what, not what's, cane, what's the ABV on this? No. Five and a half. Oh, so yeah, this is another one you can kind of just come home after work yeah, and not yeah, die. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and it's a tiny can. For yeah, so you don't have to feel guilty about it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, uh, th- like I said, the place was cool. It was a big spot. There was a lot of people, man. It's one of the popular. Yeah. So Holy City is uh, the nickname for Charleston. Yeah, but it's not religious in any way. Yeah, Charleston's called Holy City because it is called Holy City. Yeah. Oh. Same, yeah, New York's the way. Big Apple. Charleston is the Holy City. Nice. Learn something there new churches today. Churches everywhere. Heard that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Interesting. I wanted to go into a Baptist church. Like I wanted to. I wanted to go in there and just start singing. And praying. John was walking by, and they like they saw his sin flies. They're like, "Get him, Jesus! Get him!" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, it was a good trip. Some people are out there but like that, man. They're they're, they're like they're righteous and stuff, dude, and like something whacked them. happened to me last night, though. What? I'm in Maryland, right? It's 9.30 p.m. <laughs> getting gas. Filling up my, you know, you, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, guy pulls up in a BMW truck with an accent. He's like, boss, 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 I need you, boss. To you? Yeah. So I went over to him, what's up? And he puts out his hand. He's like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm whatever. I forgot what he said his name was. And I was like, I'm not shaking your hand. Yeah. And he goes, this is my girlfriend. 
And he goes, she lost my debit card. I need gas. He's like, uh, can you, you mind filling up my gas tank for me? Bro, I, I love and that. And then he scam. whips out gold. And he's like, I'll give you all my gold. And it was <laughs> rings and bracelets and yeah. necklaces. And I'm like, what the fuck? Daddy got it like Dave and Buster. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, it was like it was it was weird. Should have took it and scratched it on the sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> like let me check, bro. <laughs> let me check yeah. this. I was like, no, I'm good, man. I want your gold, and I was like, uh, good luck getting gas. And he's like, eh. And then he drove away, like he was all pissed off. Yeah, I'm like you're in a BMW truck. You had one debit card in the whole car. Yeah, and no, now you're bro. giving me jewelry. I was like, no, no. You tell him, bro. My wife like, was all. I was born spooked. at night. Not like, last listen, night. listen. I, I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I run scams. Yeah. I don't get scams. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'll take that jewelry and I won't fill up your tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You should have been like, "Are you talking to me? Yeah. Are you?" <laughs> yeah. It was weird though. Yeah, that uh, is weird. That is really weird. He should went have... to like three people. Wow. And then when I left, I think some some young lady was uh, gonna help him out. She probably listened to Anne Hayes. But yeah. there's always a chump. I guess that's really what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, they'll be smarter. They're, they're well, listen, like, yeah. th- there's a reason why those scams exist. Yes. Because, all right, so for example, here's an interesting You're, fact. People are enabling it. No, but here's an interesting fact, right? I, I watched something the other day. The United States Army, right? Uh, when you come in, you got to take a test, right? Yeah. So there's 10% of the population that won't make it, that the, the, the Army won't take. So th- what is that saying? That you're so stupid... That they won't even take you to just put you in front to catch bullets. Because that's what kind of danger you are. You can't follow or whatever. Right, like right. that 10%. So if if that gives you any relevance to what the culture is in our country, right? You know, the society as a whole. There's 10% of the people that are just too stupid to do anything. Too those stupid. Are, those are the people. And I'm sorry if you're that person. But, you know, everyone has their role to play. Yeah. Right? Yours is to get scammed. And, like, so there's this guy on, like, YouTube I watch. And he he goes after he's a hacker that goes after the Indian companies that 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 scam people, right? And some of the people it's not because they're just stupid. They're older. They're, they're you know they're not all there. They don't right. know things. Right. They get worried. Yeah. They'll use it like oh Amazon like charge you something like this and that, and we're we're gonna help you out, and we're gonna you know we'll get you the money back, and then, and then they get the accounts, and they're they're stealing. And like dude, right. this is a billion multi billion dollar industry well, that they do in scamming people. Well, it's like those people who have the uh, they're playing the violins in the parking lots. Meanwhile, they they, they people they're trying to act like they're really playing it, but it's just uh the music playing the over the speaker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> really? I mean, they say yeah. I've never heard that one. Yeah. They say out of every 3 people, a, oh, there's yeah. one stupid one. Yeah. So, that's right here. I know I'm not stupid. I no, passed no, the uh, in, in scam this case test. it's 2 thirds. It's the 2. Yeah. I passed the scam <laughs> test, so. <laughs> he passed the test. Yeah. All right, guys. I think it's about that time. Yes, We're sir. About to bring two. forth the rhythm and the rhyme. Yeah. I got mine, so get yours. This is the I stuff that see doesn't let coming me drive at your home. <laughs> we go through beers, and then all of a sudden it's like, all right, now let's kick it up a notch it and throw a spirit in there. It is time. We have Old Elk Double Wheat. Are we making old fashions? No. No, because apparently Wasn't I was told. I, I was told when I would come back, I would I have an old-fashioned tasting. I didn't get tasting. the memo. I did not get the memo. No, no. You're the one that made the Listen, promise. I can go back to the YouTube video. There's a video recording of this. He's re- it probably is, but I don't remember it. Yeah. So because it's, it's all look at all this booze in here. You can wonder why I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, 53.55 percent alcohol. Yeah. I actually haven't had this one yet. It yeah, is so it's good. Um, so yeah, this this seems exciting to try something. You should get a soundboard. It'd be great. We had one for the. Uh, the Power Hour episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. So I thought, well, you, I thought you added that no, later. No, I mean, it was a phone soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a real soundboard, okay. but yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, this is from uh, Old Elk. Let's... Uh, bro, I want I want the, the, the Rip Van Winkle glass, bro. All right. Okay. Uh, John Not can, that it makes it taste John, better. John can take the Blanton's yeah. glass that there I have brother. there. What is this? Are we? Are you playing right now? I was like, what was that sound? Why are you just? My boy's just tearing ass, playing, playing the violin, tearing ass, and turning up. That's. There we go. Oh gosh. Yeah. Old Rip Van Wick. Oh, and it wore off already. What have you been doing here, bro? What's that? It's wearing off on the thing. Oh no! It came like that. Oh, it did. Yeah, I actually wrote to. I have a glass uh, uh, that I bought from Buffalo Trace Distillery online, uh-huh. and then so it was an old Rip Van Winkle glass, and they sent me one, and the van is all like worn off on it. And I yeah. wrote to them, and I said, "You sent me a glass, and it's worn off." You know what they did about it? He was still sleeping. Absolutely nothing. They told you to they kick even, rocks. They didn't even say sorry. He's Shut still up. sleeping. Rip Van Winkle still sleeping. Yeah, but he yeah. is still sleeping. 
So, guys, let's see what this. Uh, see what you think. This one, um, as far as uh, percentages here, we've got 71.5 percent wheat, 25 percent corn, and three and a half percent barley. Um, it means nothing to anybody. By it's the way. a uh, <laughs> sounds like soup. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let's give it a whirl, guys. Let's see what it is. All right. Salud. Cheers. I want to uh, cheers to Ruben and the uh, thanks yeah, for coming. Thanks back. for coming, no. buddy. Yeah. Guys, thank it's you for having me. It's always a pleasure man. to have you as a guest. It's like I said, you, you guys open up my eyes with uh, with booze all the time. That's how you're feeling. Are you serious? No, no, I'm it's solid, man. It's pretty good. Doesn't burn too much. No, it's got minimal. Right? <laughs> I feel like the front end doesn't have a lot. It's more on the back. The I've had better. The Chinese Aces burn rate? <laughs> <laughs> 375. Uh, 375. Yeah. No, this it's yeah, the, no, it's not killing you on the burn. But what am I tasting? I feel like there's caramel or something there. Yeah, I can get a little caramel. Yeah, just a little bit, little hint. A little um, popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, a little buttery popcorn. Buttery popcorn. Yeah, because there's yes. some butteriness on yeah, it. Yeah, get a little butteriness uh, or caramel popcorn. I do get a little butteriness. Yeah. When you swish the water in there with it, mix it up with the water a little bit. Let's give it a whirl. Where's your water? Because you guys are amazing hosts and didn't give me water. <laughs> It wasn't on our budget. There's a whole bathroom right there. It wasn't on our budget this episode. What are you, go drink (laughs) out the bowl? (laughs) (laughs) want some water, go drink out the bowl, you bitch. (laughs) I got a dog bowl over there. (laughs) Listen. This is nice. I could do this. Yeah, this is solid. This This is is my first time having this one. You know Um, know what I would really like this with is actually a cigar. Cigar? Yeah. I'm not a big. I, I, I first and foremost, I'm not a cigar person. Yeah. Um, for me, well, you though, were never a smoker in any way. But for form, me, really. Tessa, yeah. it's a blunt. If, if I'm gonna have a cigar <laughs> with a bourbon, I think I would have like just a shitty bourbon or something because I feel like all that taste from a cigar is gonna ruin the taste no. of your bourbon. I know you're gonna say no. compliments. It. Yeah, no, I understand. No. With I, the right, I, with the right I, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. I, but I'm not a cigar person. No, I, you're not a cigar. That, no, that, that taste will stay in my mouth for three days, and I can't stand it. Really? I, I, yeah, agree. I agree. I don't like it. It's because you're sucking on it the wrong way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in that note. <laughs> yeah. Giggity. So where did you get this, Ken? Um, I picked this one up from Bottle King. The Bottle King. Yeah. 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 And what so is this run you about? 99. You say my boy just said it like it was nothing. He's like, this is 99, <laughs> 99, whatever. 99. I'm out here like... Like shopping, I was like, "Wait, that's nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. So okay. this ninety nine so problems, a, but the bourbon ain't one. So this <laughs> one has been popping up uh, recently on uh, behind the glass cabinets, and I've been eyeballing it. And it's one of those ones where I was like, uh, "I want to get it. I've heard good things about it. Do I want to wait?" And I kept putting it off. Are you, are you talking about this off. one, like the double wheat in particular? Yes. Because I was like, "You got other bottles, yes, of old elk in here." Yes, I have the the, uh, the four grain too as well. But this one, I I, I was like, ah, do I, let me just buy it now because why? Before Did I you know think you weren't going to like it? Or no, I, I no 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 no. I was I was hesitating because well, there was other bourbons I was buying every time I was okay. going in. I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to spend ninety. You saw bucks something better. That's yeah. What. Well, not necessarily better. Just something that you wanted. Something I yeah may have wanted. This was like a back back list. It was like I kept seeing it, but yeah. I was like, then it got to a point where I'm like, all right, is this going to disappear off the shelf for a while? It's going to be another year before I can get it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, what? old Elk's been. Producing some some good stuff. I mean, a lot of their stuff is blended, um, and um, I, I kind of young elk. <laughs> yeah. But you're only supposed to hunt old elk. No. Oh, you got to let them grow. Well, you want to be into about like eight years old, eight years or older. I'm a veal guy. Well, let me tell you, man. Yeah? They've been, oh, I'm with you, bro. They've been veal. doing some good stuff. I like this. Uh, I like this one. This is solid, man. Um, Talking about elk, we're gonna we're looking to actually do a wild game night. At the lodge, nice. So, I mean, it's open to the public. So, I'll definitely let you guys know. Will there be strippers? Yes, um, like a beefsteak, cocaine and strippers. Beef it's the only way to yeah, roll. Right? So, oh, kind of like a beefsteak. Yeah, but we'll have like we'll, we'll have the elk, we'll have like bison, we'll have other animals and yeah. stuff like that. Like one of the guys in my lodge, he's a big hunter. Uh, shout out to my boy Justin Marchese, incoming master. Mm. He um, he makes a venison helper instead of hamburger help. He does it with venison. Dude, yeah. it is phenomenal. Yeah. Like I I crave it. Like it's one of those things that I legit. I'm like I, I literally talked to him Sounds last good. night at an event we're at. We had a. Um, is there a glove with like bloody fingers? Like huh? hamburger helpers, right? The glove. No, no, no. There's just one. Yeah, like do they still do the glove? <laughs> I don't know if they still. Do. I haven't Isn't seen that hamburger helper. It is. Yeah, I, it is hamburger helper with the hand. I haven't seen the glove yeah, in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be an old school ad. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. 
But but I do. Maybe they got rid of when it we it when white. we do the event, dude. Like maybe. so, one of the talks is us to go out and hunt and get some of these animals, get some of the venison stuff. Yeah. But I want to have like elk and other things like that. And if you've ever had elk meat, it is just a very unique experience. Yeah. Because it's a lean meat, but has like a. I've had flavor. reindeer. Okay. When I was in But I was in Iceland. That's why you got coal for Christmas, you prick. Yeah, no. <laughs> you when I was in, when I was in Iceland, <laughs> I had everything from uh, reindeer yeah. to fermented shark. I would love to go out there, man. Yeah. yeah when you were cool. talking to me about it, and I saw the pictures you yeah, had, I had. It some looked amazing. Icelandic horse. Yeah. Um, really good stuff, man. Um, on my cruise, I had wild pulled boar. Uh, Yo, pulled, boar, pulled boar wild is good. Boar. Yeah, boar's good, man. Boar is it was good excellent. with like uh, it had coleslaw on it. It was nice. And then I had alligator bignettes. Okay. Bignettes. Al- alligator to me or was beignet. just like gamey beignet? chicken. That's what it tasted or like. Well, beignet is like the uh, sweet, is like a, zeppel- a French apple. Yeah, that's what it was like. But yeah. there was alligator meat oh, in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Sounds good. Wow. Ruben, thanks again for coming, man. No, thanks for it, having it, me. Man. It's always a pleasure. Um, well, I've listen, known this guy for uh, what? Almost, uh, what? I don't know. It's 30 years, probably. 30 something years. More now. than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's more than that by now. And uh, it's always a pleasure for you to come by. And, it's a regret uh, of mine, but hey. <laughs> yeah, you know, we all have our uh, regrets. Yeah. No, I'm joking. And you're the father of Kenny's child, right? Yeah, <laughs> apparently, you know, but the guy's raising them for me. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the, the good thing is, talk to my you know, wife. some of the things I said with other people is like, I might not see Ken, you know, uh, every weekend or something like that, but this is still one of my day ones, one of my, oh, my number one guys. I love him to death. And when wow, you get right. together, it's like there's no time passed. Yeah, nothing's ever passed. And that's no. what I love about our, our friendship. It, yeah, it's always been like that. You yeah. know, he lives his life. I live my boat. You know, what I like about the podcast is that, hey, it's giving me a reason to come back around. Yes, otherwise so he wouldn't come. If not, it's like one or once a year, twice a year we see each yeah. other. You know, so it's nice that, you know, we have this too yeah. to help, uh, you know, Good. Keep in touch. And w- what's the deal? And John, same thing for you, man. You know, John, I wouldn't see you if it wasn't for this. Yeah. So it's great. You know, yeah. like we and call we call, we call ourselves and you've together. Known John yeah. since, and you've known John since what ninety four. As long as you. Yeah. As long yeah. as you. No longer. No. Uh, I, as long well, we were close. elementary school together. No, yeah. but but when I'd come to your house, yeah. he'd be there, there with your brothers. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. So yeah. I've known John just as long. So, so yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The whole the whole the whole faff, you know, tribe and and. I mean, I wasn't a part of the garage, you know. Antics, but no, yeah. I wish, but no, that was that was something. Stories. Know, that was something, dude. Listen, if I ever do have kids, my son's getting. And around, what's so. the deal now, <laughs> r- real quick, Ruben? Um, before we uh, close this out here, are are you going to be doing a podcast soon, or what's going on with that? So I, I've been I've been recording. All right, I haven't published one because I didn't get rights from people to do it. Okay, and a lot of what I talk about is like people's personal personal stuff. Gotcha. So moving forward, I, I want to do video like you guys are doing here. Yeah, I've only I, I only got way audio, to go. Yeah, yeah. I only got audio, but. I've been using it to help people. That's what it's really come down to. Um, mm-hmm. I'm getting into in-depth conversations with people about their problems, helping them find solutions yeah. and stuff like that. But moving forward, it, it's and you're recording it. all this while you're doing it. I am recording it. I have so the right now, your audio. It. You haven't put the audio out yet, but no. uh, big things from Ruben coming soon. Do we have a name that's going to be? for Yeah, it's called the Bond Fire. B O N D Fire. Oh, that's right. Really, we did talk yeah. about it. Yes. We did talk about it. Yes, we did. I, I remember been that. Slow with I remember it. that name. Yeah. But uh, once hey. I get the video equipment got up and everything like that, I'll good things take time. Soon. We'll yeah. get there. I'm not rushing. And for now, he can come here. You look. I thought you were Cuban. Yeah, I'm Ruben the Cuban. Yeah, not Russian. No. Oh no. Oh, I get it. But I'm good. I'm good with the Russian <laughs> front. You know, we're good. We got All right. So, cheers, right. Ruben. Thanks for making it, man. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Cheers. And man. you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to my boy to get him out here for next week for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he can make it. That. I'm looking forward to that. Let's and do our shout outs real quick. Yes. Uh, Kane Brewing. Kane. Yes. We had a couple beers from Thank Kane you. Brewing. Kane. Awesome stuff, guys. Holy City Brewing. Yes. Wow. Uh, Old Elk. Old Elk. Old Elk. And Hesh. <laughs> No, I'm not shouting her I'm not out, shouting bro. Her out. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in something. Yeah. Um, Rest in misery. Rest in something. <laughs> you heinous bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, and cheers to you guys. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Salud. Cheers, guys. And we'll see you next time. You guys time. give me choice every right. time here. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>